Okay, Ilhan Omar, you're a 35-year-old first-term House member. You know, you've done everything from being a nutrition educator to an office cleaner to a political activist. Um, you are born in Somalia. You've lived in the district here for more than 20 years, since 1997. Why are you running for Congress here this year? Yeah, uh, well, thank you, Tim, for, for having me. I'm running because, I, you know, I think our country is at a crossroads. Um, we see that we have uh, fear and, and the politics of scarcity has ushered in um, an, a new kind of administration that is hell-bent on uh, destructing our democracy. And I think I offer a, a really clear counterbalance and counter-narrative to what's happening in, in Washington. Um, as you mentioned, you know, my family came here 23 years ago, and 23 years ago, sitting in a refugee camp, hearing about the promise of America, the possibility of uh, prosperity for all of us and hope for um, a better tomorrow. Uh, in moments of fear and the uncertainty of not knowing what was gonna happen, that's what kept us alive. And, um, and when we arrived, my family worked really hard for that promise. Uh, my dad would uh, work uh, night shifts at airports. Um, my sister uh, worked at a nonprofit clinic, um, providing care to patients who couldn't um, afford health care. And my grandfather went to all neighborhood meetings, and I would translate for him, and that's where my love for politics and our democracy deepened. And when I would confront my uh, dad and, and grandfather about the, the kind of promises um, of, of prosperity that we came to and how that wasn't really available to most uh, Americans living here. Uh, my, my grandfather would tell me that if you want a certain world, you have to work for it, and I've been doing just that. And as you've mentioned, you know, I've uh, lived and led uh, a normal um, working life, uh, from cleaning uh, offices in, to Bloomington Richfield, to working at call centers in downtown Minneapolis, to being a nutrition educator with the Extension Department, to being at City Hall as a senior policy aide, and now as the assistant minority leader in the Minnesota House. Um, I think my, my story is, is one that's unique, uh, and I think I'm uniquely qualified um, to, to go to Washington and carry the voice of the people of the Congressional Fifth. Um, I think there is an opportunity for us to, to really send someone who has the moral courage and the moral clarity to fight for, for things like uh, securing um, an economy that works for all of us, Medicare for all, a uh, very humane immigration um, system, uh, reforming our criminal justice system and making sure that we don't have um, politicians that could be bought so that we can get uh, clean elections um, and, and make sure uh, that the, the voice of, of the people um, remains to be centered in, in our politics.